Hey guys, it's Madison. Thanks for joining me in this faithful home. Today, I'm bringing you back into our RV inside the master bedroom where we are making over this space to take it from standard and slightly boring to fun and exciting. So if you don't know me and you are new to this channel, my husband David and I just recently moved into an RV. We live full time out at a ministry camp and we get to do life with our best friends. I love DIY projects and letting my creativity flow. I am a Christian homemaker and I do have a full time job. So I'm bringing you guys with me along with our journey in the little corner of our world and I'm so excited to share today's video with you guys. Last time I shared a master bedroom update we looked at, let me rotate for you, see all that? We did the headboard feature wall for the bedroom and started to paint everything. You can tell behind me that it's white. I will insert some clips of me preparing the wall behind me, which is what we are going to focus on in today's video. But it was just the basic standard brownish wallpaper color of most RVs that you see. And so I went through and prepped it really well, primed it, painted it, and now I am super excited to continue on with the process. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a faux wallpaper accent wall. How am I gonna do a faux wallpaper? Sharpie paint pens or knockoff Hobby Lobby paint pens. Before we get into it, I do wanna say, if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so you feel welcomed into this faithful home with me. Let's get into today's video. I have two things that we are going to need for this. Once you've already prepped and painted your space, you're going to need a template. I got this one off of Etsy. It is a hair and bone pattern and it is from Sammy on the State. So I will leave this down in the description box below for you guys. This stencil was only $20, so not bad. And you can see here, it's like a painting stencil. And the only other thing you'll need is a paint marker. I picked up two. Not sure if I'm gonna need more than two or if one will suffice, but by the end of this video, you'll know how much you'll need for this size wall. But I picked this one up. It's metallic. The medium tip, like the felt tip on here, is a medium thickness and it is in the color rose gold. And those are the two items you are going to need. Basically, we are going to pick a spot in the central located area and start stenciling. All right, so I'm obsessed with the wall behind me. Look at this. It turned out so good. It was super easy to do all of the lines. 
Um, a couple things I will mention for you if you were doing a wall about this size. I made it through almost the whole thing with one of the markers. And when I went to switch to use a fresh new marker, the metallic color that I was using, even though it said rose gold, was slightly different. And enough on my test strip. Let me see if I can... I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Okay, you can. So like you see here, that's the new one. And this is like the actual rose gold I was going for. And so that's something to note is the fact that if you're doing like a metallic -y color, really try to test out all of your pens before you start the project. Thankfully, I was able to make it through the whole thing almost. And like some of the lines are technically not the right color, but you can't really tell. So we're going to roll with it. There is like a strip, I think right there that still needs to get done, but I don't wanna do an entire strip with the wrong color, so I'm gonna wait till Hobby Lobby gets more of those pens in stock, buy one, test it to make sure it matches, and then I'll use it. But that's just because I wanted to do a rose gold. If you are doing this with a normal Sharpie paint pen, or like actual Sharpie brand, black, gray, that kind of stuff, you'll probably be better off with all the ones you use. I chose to use an off-brand and to do a metallic gold, rose gold color, so. That was something that's just a gamble and I didn't realize. Another thing I'll mention to get around weird corners, I just went ahead and cut my strips. I did like all of the big pieces first and then I used little strips to kind of get into the details. So like behind here, I had to get like around this. There's obviously tight corners that just comes along with, you know, living in a tight space. So if that's something that you are thinking about doing, don't worry about cutting it. It's fine. You can still use these guidelines and make it work like I did, but you don't have to keep it as a whole piece and I'm gonna hold on to these so I can reuse them as well. The last thing I'm gonna do is hang up a couple pieces of decor onto the wall and we are gonna finish off this space. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoy the final product of this feature wall with a faux wallpaper look. I absolutely love how it turned out and I am so excited to get this room finished for a final reveal of everything in this master bedroom. So make sure you're checking back for that video. Down in the description box below, I will leave a link to the other video in this playlist where we did the headboard wall as well as some other fun DIY projects that I've done on this channel to give you guys some motivation and fun videos to watch. If you are new to my channel, like I mentioned earlier, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so you feel welcomed into this faithful home with me. I upload videos every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern, so I'll check back with you guys next week for another video. Bye, guys.